off your JP. My neck, my back, so much. My neck, my back, my back, my back. My neck, my back, so much. really put a damper on my eating habit but I figured out why because my period is starting to 
like today it's that day where the stomach is hurting and all that stuff so i feel like the combination of the two really is fucking up my body so i didn't get to enjoy my burger like i thought i was gonna enjoy my burger very disappointed in that but it's okay i've had moments like this where i've wasted so much food just trying to get back on track with the eating i'm not gonna force it but it is frustrating because i am hungry <laughs> it's not that i'm not hungry i'm hungry but as soon as i like go to eat this stuff because i haven't really been eating i still kind of get a little nauseous and stuff like that because of course your period when it's starting what are some symptoms you get nauseous so yeah <laughs> so I was trying to get my incense for the smoker neighbors. Still ain't got that. Found my answer. And why they ain't got none. I don't know why he haven't ordered none yet. But the manager just hasn't even ordered the incense. So I'm just like, please tell him. He need to get on that. And he's like, you're not the first one. So Mr. Older Man, you need to get on these incense because you're slacking. Like. So I'm at my favorite spot. So I came here for a little bit to just walk for a little bit. I'm not gonna walk walk because I don't have the right shoes on. Have my little flippy shoes we flops on. So I just said I'm just gonna come here and um just walk a little bit and then probably take my ass home. Or if I see a parallel ship order, I might try to do that. But other than that, take my ass back home and hopefully started my painting since i feel so much better i can maybe at least draw one of my little puzzle pieces so we'll see what happens when i get home i gotta finish washing my hair i have a mask under here i didn't wash my hair i just did my cardi b mask since i was going to the dentist so we have that under here doing what i'm supposed to do a pre-shampoo and then we're gonna go home wash our hair this is new i didn't never seen these trees like this before <laughs> i parallel parked i almost know how to parallel park up my car literally i don't know how to parallel park with this car this car is bigger than my ultima body wise even though it's small but i just parallel parked like literally i whipped that bitch up in there <laughs> Demolishness. Wow, that's crazy. So crazy. Angel number and I plugged up my wax, brought some new wax. I don't even want to mix it up. It looks so cute. My cheeks ain't puffing no more. I still got just a tad bit swelling right up in here. But oh my God, I woke up this morning and I knew everything was good because number one, I was asleep. And when I was asleep, there was like a vision um these girls and it was like in their own i guess like little homes or whatever <coughs> now i don't know who the hater was but in my dream it zoomed in on this one person and like i have a no idea who the reference is but in my dream i'm like okay bet makes sense so i was online and you know how you get those little readings on tiktok and stuff and people will tell you, like, you know, what's going on with your life. And, you know, if it resonates, it resonates. So, like, my sickness was resonating. And um, I saw a TikTok where someone was, like, somebody, you know, is mad at you. They put, like, a little curse, little hex, something, something, something on you. But, of course, you know, 
God got my back. My grandma got my back. That's, that's what it was. My grandma got my back. And people don't realize how strong my grandma got my back type of thing. Um, she is deceased. Miss Mary up there, if you want to know who's protecting me. She's a very powerful rich. Keep that in mind. She don't play with me and God don't play with me. And they go together hand in hand just like this. So, <laughs> all in all. My grandma got them together. I got my shit together. And it's like, as this settles and subsides, I got my confirmations. Like, yeah, somebody put a hex on you, but it's gone. It's away. You're better. And I woke up this morning and the puffy, like the knot is still right here. But bitch, she ain't as big as yesterday. So we happy and just I was asleep. And you know how like your breath is funky when, when you wake up. And even as I'm sleeping, I can smell my tooth not like rotten or anything like that but i could smell like i was at the dentist's office when they was grinding in and i could just smell the stuff just releasing and saying goodbye type of thing so i'm so happy woke up with my cheeks normal <laughs> i must have known today was gonna be one of them days because literally why did somebody hit my car again and this time i was at a light just sitting, waiting to turn, fussing at somebody else for turning too fucking slow. And literally, I'm fussing at them like, why the fuck are you turning this corner like this? Like, fucking go so we all can, like, go. And next thing I feel is like a little tap -a -de 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 on my side. And then I kind of hear the tires kind of like, you know, when it's wet outside, how tires tend to be when you stop. And... I heard that it took me a minute at the to next lights turn right it took me a minute to realize I was hit so I kind of like backed out to get back out of street like uh-uh nigga put flashes on like uh-uh nigga get out my car mommy mo you stay your ass at the lights right turn right onto Auden Street literally I tell him you stay your ass right there your ass better not move I stood directly in the path where if he even tried to remotely try some bullshit, yeah, nigga, you gonna have At the a next case. stop sign, turn left. So, he is so lucky, so lucky that it was just a little scrape -de 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 that I think I can get out. Like, you know, like the sneakers, how the sneakers do the flow? I was like, you, nigga, you lucky. Literally, that's all I can say. You lucky. Let me stop. <laughs> it's not bad. See, just buy some stuff to scrape it off. So, baby, I showed you check. Yes, ma'am. Then come back. The why does this weather look like the end of the world is coming? <laughs> this explains this energy I felt this morning because look how scary it looks. <laughs> the whole irony of me being in front of a church as I'm talking. Come on now. <laughs> but, oh my god, it looks so scary. And it was not looking like this at first. It's so scary. <laughs> we dying. I got me some food and so I was riding through the main area to see where I could go get some food and fish is something that I'm gonna have to try to like get into eating so I saw this place called um what is it seven spices Cajun seafood um I knew I want to try something different for sure for sure so that's really why I stopped I'm like okay I know I can give me some fish and shrimp there 
I really don't eat fried food like that, but honestly, the only way I eat fish is fried. So it is what it is. I don't eat it like that anyway. And I tried to bake me some, well, I tried to do some air fried fish last night and I'm just like, no bitch, we just gotta have fried food. And I do that, but I am waiting on somebody to make me some baked fish or whatever, grilled fish, whatever, ever fish. And I love it because then you stuck with me for life. So I got some french fry. And you have between catfish and tilapia, tilapia and real fish. So I got catfish. Mmm. Good. Okay, bitch. I'm about to say it tastes just like fish. But if I said mmm, -hmm, it's good enough. So, I'm about to just sip it up and eat my food. Let me still the rain got down. I got Martin on. I love that for me because at first when I started watching him, I was like, oh man, he's still getting on my nerves. But I figured out, like, I just can't, like, watch shows over and over and over and over again that's just what it is i've been watching a lot of old shows that's for sure like steve urkel steve urkel family mammals <laughs> it's like a staple show i'm just put on basically i just choose the season choose an episode and be like there we go so family matters that's where i'm at with family matters i've been watching martin lately which i'm happy about that because I be wanting to watch stuff that's gonna make me laugh. I watched Bama season one, season two. I didn't really pay too much attention to it because it is stupid. <laughs> but it's a good show. Like if you need some something that will kind of keep your attention, but at the same time, if you need like some background, Bama most definitely does it. It's not like our childhood Scooby Doo. It's more like a um adult version of like how fucked up scooby-doo characters really are in real life type of thing so i like that and what else family matters martin i feel like there's one more but honestly martin and family man has been it really so i got my food ready unsettled so i'm about to just eat oh and she coming down so i'm gonna hurry up and eat some because i want to get home and my stomach be like mm -mm. so i'm like you know what so yeah <laughs> we did what we had to do we really did i'm not even mad at it I'm frustrated, but I'm not mad at it. I'm just thankful that God has been providing a way for me to be able to do to deal with. And getting back in the habit of eating food. But I don't think people understand how annoying it is to want to eat, can't eat. God forbid you get sick. Really can't eat. <laughs> I'm like, damn. And I already can tell I got smaller. That's where I'm like, damn. But I knew it. But I feel like this will be the last time that I may have to deal with this. So. That's all it is to it. But it's so funny because literally. I'm the way. That. I said, I wanted to be when I started my YouTube channel, and I started my YouTube channel before I even hit my weight go, because when I looked at myself on camera, I'm like, ooh, it was quite bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm about to finish my food. And watch Martin. 
Okay, so I finally remembered to come get number one, a work by investment, this wild stuff. I love using this. Just basically, it's just an added protection. And I have a customer who she has this as well. And we, I was talking with her and I was like, I really don't know if it do anything. But for frizz control and Houston and so forth, like it's just good to have that added protective measure. And literally, I don't even put this in my hair. I just use this for my blowouts, like my girls, like that's all. So that's the added protective measure. I went and got, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I went ahead and got the big bottom because you know we're working girl yes. so that <laughs> and then number two um after i got that it's so weird how both god and my grandmother be telling me what to do um i just literally i heard my grandma and my voice in my head like go get your necklace like i've been wanting another loop de loop chain like rope chains i love the rope chains like chains like this I've been wanting more of these so I came and got a longer one like about as long as this chain right here it's that long and then I got me two of these bracelet poos and literally in total my total was $15 and some change baby balling on the fucking budget baby balling on the fucking budget literally $15 for two bracelets and one long chain 20 what she say 27 20 is it a 24 or 26 inches chain and this is good quality like literally all my chains come from there like when i buy my little trinkets and like emblems like this is a from frugal finds like it's kind of raggedy and shit but it's still pretty good like we still gonna use it but like the chains the medallions last way longer than the chains and that's the only reason why i buy from frugal finds slash even marcel so i'm gonna take this medallion off and put it on the rope chain so yeah we're about to go home i'm shocked i'm not sleepy but i'm okay with that maybe i can try to drug myself real quick and take a cat nap so we're just gonna go home chillax and then later we're gonna go clean up the salon and then we're gonna take our ass home and do it all over again tomorrow so yes yeah, son and then i guess i just figured out what tomorrow basically will be like so when i go clean up the salon tomorrow ooh, and he'll really like that if i so yeah but go home as long as I've been living in Houston, I've never been to this gas station my whole life. Literally, I've been here since I was like a child, like over 25 years for sure. And I've never been to this gas station, but it looks so freaking ghetto. And this is the root area. It's a new day and after yesterday like literally i don't know what's wrong with people i had to step out the car check make sure my blinkers work they work and i'm like damn like i don't know why everybody act like i'm the problem on the road <laughs> but bitches get it the fuck together where are you from hmm
before I forget. And this is my products. This is how I packaged it up for the client. I wrapped each one up into tissue paper and I also put in a sample of my all-in-one oil and two, well basically three business cards. I just know I didn't want to hand her the products without it being in a cute little baggy poo. So yeah, take off this, but it all cute and simple and sweet. And then honestly, for marketing purposes now, one thing I can do is I can actually go and get me something created and literally always have something that would be stuck on a product or a whatever or whatever. So yeah. They don't want to take my dollar. <laughs> Happy Saturday. So, oh my God, my face looks so good. Number one, one time for the cheek puffiness. God. <laughs> but number one, my swelling is gone, back to normal-ish. It feels better. It's healing, it's itching, all of that shiznick. But it's Saturday, I only, I went and dropped off an order. Love that for me. I have one blowout today. They've hit me up twice for appointments, so I don't know, I might give me another one. We'll see what happens, what the day brings. Um, I got me a Monday appointment, which I don't mind because she's really not that far from my house. And I was actually just thinking about her. So I was like, okay, I got to listen to what the mind process was saying. And so I uh, got me some breakfast because I got hungry and I'm still trying to get my appetite back. My appetite's back. I had Whataburger last night, so I didn't really want it this morning, but I wanted a breakfast sandwich again. And I'm like, okay just give it to myself but when i had the burger last night a hundred percent the additives oh my god so i ate this burger and instantly i wanted some candy and i was like oh the burger has additives so number one the water burger burger is probably something on my list that is not gonna be on my list as much anymore which i'm okay with that um, we don't do McCrack. Anytime I eat McCrack, I get phlegm. So that's why I don't eat McCrack. I did not get phlegm, but 100% the addict addictiveness of like sugar, it gave me that. Um, the breakfast this doesn't do much of anything, so I'm happy about that. So the car needs to be washed. It really don't need to be cleaned on the inside. So since I got time, and I was gonna do a ship order, but apparently God heard me when I was like telling myself like when people were tripping and stuff, and I was telling myself like this is only temporary. Like this ain't the end all be all. Like we're not trying to make this our income type of thing. So God really really heard me when I was like kept telling myself like this is temporary. This is temporary. This is temporary. This is temporary. This is only bad money when you need money type of shit so literally i took that as a sign god was like nah remember this is temporary so since i got the glam squad claim it's like i like really this is temporary so i decided to come wash the car i'll still look for an order because i got my nail appointment and i do want to use ship specifically for things like nail appointment lash appointment my toes and probably massage because literally i really don't much want much of anything when it comes to like my monthly stuff it would just be and probably facials i do want to start getting facials every month and especially after this like swollen cheek thing when i get my next massage i want to see if she could massage my cheeks a little bit to kind of like make sure that not is really really gone it's whatever so yeah really that's what i want to do with ship is just use that for stuff like or like groceries or um honestly i'm on my bill kick right now so that's another reason why i really haven't been picking up the camera because rent pay we're going hey we're trying to pay everything else so then when when basically like two weeks out of the month is left 
all bills are paid and those two weeks out of the month we stack your rent we stack and bill money we stack it whatever we need we buy whatever we need i'm glad i was talking because i need to go get my wig so yeah i keep forgetting to go get my wig i have a heater blanket coming but that's not coming till later so i need to go pick up my wig 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 so since that's on my brain we got to go wash the car and then we're gonna go hopefully remember pick up our wig because i'm excited but low-key i'm like scared because i hope it comes out looking right it's um it's a highlighted wig so yeah i'm trying to venture out to the since wigs are being colored now like why would i put all that hard work and effort in so and not even that if i feel like i want more of anything I can just go add it in and I don't have to worry about doing a hundred and multiple processes because somebody's already did the process for me. So yeah, son, stay tuned for that help. So in the meantime, between time, we're about to go wash this mother freaking car. Wow. Wow. Wig is secured. And I got me some flowers. And a cookie, but I told myself I was going to give me some Get Better Skin flowers. So those are my Get Better Skin flowers. And plus, I, um, during COVID especially, I said that when I get to the point where I can really just afford to buy myself flowers every time they die, that's what I'm doing. So I'm holding myself accountable and buying myself flowers because if I don't buy myself flowers, then why would my man buy me flowers so i gotta show my man what i like in order for him to know what to get me to make me happy so i'm starting the habit now so when he comes get up on it <laughs> picture that's not why I got it per se but it did kind of help a little bit so this cute little baggie comes in which out of all the wigs I've gotten so far I feel like this is the first one that's gotten a cute baggie like this and even this little right here this is cute too okay we have us a wig cap peepoo we have us another elastic band to tie our wig down. We got us two combi comb combs, which I really don't use those for my wig. I don't really take them out my wig, so that'll be used probably for something else later down the line. Hmm, okay. First thing first, I want to say thank you for this. Just thank you. Off the top, looking at this hair, I'm not mad at it. I was so scared that it was gonna look a hot janky mess. But it didn't. It doesn't. Is this gonna be a body poop? I got 14 inches. It's a blunt little cutty poo. I'm trying to see. I feel like this cut. Blunt as fuck. But okay. I actually can take off this hat <laughs> and put this wig on top of it. Especially since they have this. This is the first time I've ever received a wig like this. So I'm excited to see what this is giving me because I got a peanut in. Okay. Okay. This 
what it's looking like. It's not bad. Once I play with it, of course, and wash it. It's so crunchy feeling. The hair is soft. But yeah, most definitely, I'm gonna have to fluff it out for sure when I do do it, which I knew I was gonna be doing that. So we'll see what it do. We shall see. I don't think it's gonna look bad. I don't. And then plus, I feel like I can tone this wig as well. I might tone it. Tone this on a gold down. So it's a nice little wavy poo. And honestly, I just want some curly hair, get up and go type of hair. So, yeah. We shall see. Only thing I don't like is like this. Like, if it's wavy, it's curly, let it be what it's supposed to be like. I hate how like the girls got it where and they make it automatically flat like this. I feel like I'm the only person who complains about this problem. But curly hair is not flat like this. So I always hated when the girls used to flatten it. Um, like 2008 when they started doing that. I always hated it. So I'm no different now. It makes me mad. But. Yeah. And I can always go back through and do some braids or a curl or something i have a style i want to do i'm hoping once i wet it it'll look better but it's just a t-section literally it's a t-section of highlights really and then sparingly throughout the hair they have a little more highlights but yeah it's not much highlights it's just a t-section basically and then see how the rest of this hair is basically the brown color that's really the t <laughs> so yeah just like your perimeter perimeter and then a little bit of like right up in here and then honestly for the real real girls if you really really gonna do highlights and you like put your hair in ponytails and stuff like that have just a little in the back so yeah we'll see what she do to Pearland. I did an order and since I'm out here I got my ice cream up here. So <laughs> I changed out of my work clothes and put in my gym clothes because I'm just, just gonna go walking out here in Pearland as well as go check the sea if this man ordered my incense so I can have my incense from my house so it's just gonna be a whole Pearland day since I was already out here <laughs> it's so funny because I did a prom girl's hair <coughs> and one of the family members called herself trying to whisper and say that her hair was getting frizzy and before she could even finish the statement like I heard it and I was like oh no it's getting frizzy I'm like where where's the frizzy at and so she points it out and I'm just like I don't see what you see or whatever so literally she just takes out a little piece of hair that really didn't need to be done and I'm like mm -hmm. I got your number but whatever I don't even understand that because then one of the other girls 
and ask me for my number. Come on now. Ain't nobody coming and y'all just pussyfoot. Go. Ask me for my number, so I don't know about that. So we'll see what happens. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Or no, where I'm going, bitch. We can handle this. Like, right, the fuck? You need to think I'm scared of them. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Turn the fucking corner. That's all you gotta do. Anyway, eat my ice cream. Hey, ass niggas. I really wasn't one going to record doing this wig. So, this is what we're doing so far. I just took off what did not fit on the both sides. So, now I'm going to take and place my elastic band kind of looking at myself with this on camera it looks cute but 100 percent, i'm gonna have to wet it up because look how curvy she looks she looks real crazy but i see the potential um i'm gonna put my elastic band i think i'm going to put it here on both of these ends right here and then I'm going to probably like just co-wash this hair just to get it wet so I can play with it basically. And then I'm going to spray my lace. I really don't need to do anything. So we just gonna spray. I don't think I, mm, yeah, I'm not going to bleach them. I'm just gonna spray my stuff and hopefully we can put her on and go in the morning because that's really why I wanted to wear her for tomorrow. But if not, we got our, our beanie and our hoodie. Our beanie and our hoodie. We have our beanie and our braids and that's what we're going to wear. just use that and tap the root to add some texture to it and literally I just did here and here so when I come home later I'm just gonna do it here when I do wear it out I just did these little twisty poos I just did baby hairs to hold the wig down so I'm about to do this side real quick I'm just gonna take this and then we're gonna take and this and we just gonna crimp it and it don't have to be cute pretty just crimp crimp let it go why is so Y'all move that dog, move that dog, that that dog, that that dog, that that Turn her 
Maserati. Serving a new Maserati. In a brand new Maserati. Never hold on to no money. Session and hide it from 12. Moving the squads and them bills. Serving the rods for you. Alright, I went ahead and cut it, of course, because, you know, it was on my brain. And I'm glad I did it because it's so much better. It has better shape, better roundness, better fullness, better everything. So, still later, I'll cut the other portion. But, yeah, I just gotta cut it right here. Bittersweet, the beauty is almost gone. I'm gonna go fast as fuck with these either though. Can't believe it's gone. Just like that. To rip off the band-aid, huh? <laughs> She looking. This is how she's customized to my step, my stomach. <laughs> my stomach just growled. This is how she's been customized to my little peanut head. And yeah, we don't do bobby pins. They hurt, so I just have this one for the very, very back, and that's good enough for me. And then the baby hers is what we use to hold the wig down in place. <laughs> It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Yeah, it's that bird in the yucky mouth with the V-turn and the Issa run. She's driving Nissan and she in a P-Mart. 